Hello, thank you for watching the first video about the list of World Heritage Sites in India Part 1. Now, you're about to embark on the second part, which will continue this amazing journey into the culture and heritage of India. In this video, you'll explore more of the incredible and stunning sites that have been included in the list of World Heritage Sites in India. You'll uncover more fascinating stories and historical tales that intertwine with these important cultural sites. Get ready to stand before the pillars of ancient civilizations, to explore massive forts, to wander through famous old cities, and to dive into the art and unique architecture of India. You'll feel excitement and wonder as you follow along with this thrilling video. Prepare yourself for a fantastical exploration that takes you on a tour through the corridors of Indian history and culture. Enjoy the mesmerizing visuals and the exciting information that this thrilling video series will present. Let's get ready to dive into the world of India's world heritage in this video that continues what we started in part 1. Get ready to discover the beauty and diversity that India holds in its unique historical sites. Let's begin the journey and enjoy every moment of it. Dolavira unveiling the secrets of an Indus Valley Civilization City. Dolavira is an ancient city that was part of the Indus Valley Civilization, one of the world's oldest urban civilizations. Here's some information about Dolavira. Indus Valley Civilization, Dolavira was one of the major cities of the Indus Valley Civilization which thrived around 4,500 years ago in the regions of present-day India and Pakistan. It was one of the most advanced urban societies of its time. Location, Dolavira is located in the Ran of Kutch in the western Indian state of Gujarat. It lies on the island of Kadir Bet surrounded by the great Ran of Kutch. Excavation and Discovery Dolavira was discovered in 1967-68 by archaeologist Jagat Padi Joshi. Excavations at the site have provided valuable insights into the urban planning, architecture, and lifestyle of the Indus Valley Civilization. City Layout Dolavira is known for its well-planned and structured layout. The city is divided into three parts, the citadel, the middle town, and the lower town. The citadel houses the major public and administrative buildings, while the residential areas are located in the middle and lower town. Water management. Dolavira exhibits impressive water management systems, including reservoirs, canals, and wells. The city had a sophisticated rainwater harvesting system that collected and stored water for irrigation and domestic use. Unique signboard system. One of the distinctive features of Dolavira is the presence of a signboard system. Large signboards with indescript markings were found at various locations within the city. The purpose and meaning of these inscriptions are still being deciphered by archaeologists. Architecture and structures Dolavira showcases impressive architectural structures. The city is fortified with massive stone walls and gateways. The ruins include large public buildings residential complexes, markets, warehouses, and a stadium-like structure. Artifacts and artistic expression. Excavations at Dolavira have unearthed a wide range of artifacts, including pottery, seals, beads, jewelry, terracotta figurines, and metal objects. These artifacts provide insights into the craftsmanship, trade, and artistic expression of the Indus Valley civilization. Trade and Contact Dolavira was a prominent center of trade, evident from the discovery of seals and artifacts from other regions, indicating long-distance trade networks and contact with other civilizations. UNESCO World Heritage Site In 2021, Dolavira was inscribed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, highlighting its outstanding universal value and its significance in understanding the Indus Valley Civilization. Dolavira stands as a testament to the technological prowess, urban planning, and cultural achievements of the Indus Valley Civilization. Exploring its ruins offers a glimpse into the ancient past and the sophistication of this once thriving city. Kakatiya Radreshwara Temple Ramapa The Kakatiya Radreshwara Temple, commonly known as the Ramapa Temple, 
is a renowned ancient temple located in Palampet village near Warangal in the southern Indian state of Telangana. Here is some information about the Ramapa temple. 1. Architecture and Style The Ramapa temple is a masterpiece of Kakatiya architecture, dating back to the 13th century. It is dedicated to Lord Shiva and is known for its intricate carvings, detailed sculptures, and unique architectural style. The temple exhibits a fusion of Chalukyan, Kola, and Hoysala architectural elements. 2. UNESCO World Heritage Site In 2021, the Ramapa Temple was inscribed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, becoming the first heritage site in the state of Telangana to receive this recognition. The temple's architectural brilliance, historical significance, and cultural value contributed to its inclusion on the esteemed list. 3. Sculptures and Carvings The temple is adorned with exquisite carvings that depict mythological scenes. Episodes from the Ramayana and Mahabharata, celestial beings, dancers, musicians, and various deities. The intricate detailing and craftsmanship of the sculptures are remarkable. 4. Main Shrine and Temple Complex The main shrine of the Ramapa Temple houses the presiding deity, Lord Shiva, in the form of Radreshwara. The temple complex also includes a Nandi Mandapa pavilion and a large pillared hall. The ceilings of the temple are adorned with elaborate motifs and carvings. 5. Floating Brick Technique one of the remarkable features of the Ramapa Temple is the innovative construction technique known as the floating brick technique. The temple's foundation is made of bricks that are so light that they can float on water. This technique is believed to have contributed to the temple's resilience against earthquakes over the centuries. 6. Kakatiya Dynasty The Ramapa Temple was built during the reign of the Kakatiya Dynasty which ruled over the region from the 12th to the 14th centuries. The temple stands as a testimony to the architectural and cultural achievements of the Kakatiya dynasty. 7. Festival Celebrations The temple continues to be an active place of worship, and various festivals, especially Mahashivaratri, are celebrated with great fervor at the Ramapa temple. Devotees and visitors throng the temple during these occasions to seek blessings and witness the grand festivities. 8. Preservation and Restoration The Ramapa Temple has undergone conservation and restoration efforts to preserve its architectural grandeur. The Archaeological Survey of India ASI has worked on maintaining the temple's structural integrity and protecting its historical significance. The Ramapa Temple, with its architectural brilliance, cultural significance, and recognition as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, stands as a testament to the rich heritage of Telangana and the artistic prowess of the Kakatiya dynasty. Jaipur City, Rajasthan Jaipur, also known as the Pink City, is the capital city of the Indian state of Rajasthan. Here is some information about Jaipur. 1. Pink City Jaipur is famously called the Pink City due to the predominant color of its buildings. In 1876, the city was painted pink to welcome the visit of Prince Albert, and the tradition has been maintained ever since. The pink hue gives Jaipur a unique and vibrant appearance. 2. History Jaipur was founded in 1727 by Maharaja Sawai Jai Singh II, who was a Kachwa Rajput ruler. The city was established as the new capital of the Kachwa Kingdom, replacing the previous capital of Amber. 3. Architecture Jaipur is renowned for its splendid architecture, featuring a blend of Rajput, Mughal, and European influences. The city is dotted with magnificent forts, palaces, Havilis mansions, and temples. The architectural highlights include the City Palace, Hawa Mahal, Amber Fort, Jagar Fort, Nahargar Fort, and Jal Mahal Water Palace. 4. City Palace The City Palace in Jaipur is a magnificent complex that showcases a fusion of Rajput and Mughal architectural styles. It houses palaces, museums, courtyards, and gardens. The Chandra Mahal within the complex is still the residence of the royal family of Jaipur. 
5. Hawa Mahal, the Hawa Mahal, also known as the Palace of Winds, is an iconic landmark of Jaipur. This five-story palace is famous for its unique honeycomb-like structure with numerous small windows, allowing cool breezes to flow through and providing a glimpse of the bustling streets below. 6. Amber Fort, located just outside Jaipur, the Amber Fort is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and a major tourist attraction. It showcases a splendid blend of Hindu and Mughal architectural styles and offers panoramic views of the surrounding landscape. 7. Jantar Mantar, Jaipur is home to one of the five observatories built by Maharaja Jai Singh II. The Jantar Mantar in Jaipur is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and comprises various astronomical instruments, including the world's largest stone sundial. 8. Cultural Heritage Jaipur is steeped in Rajasthani culture and traditions. The city celebrates vibrant festivals, such as Diwali, Holi, and Tej, with great enthusiasm. The local cuisine, handicrafts, jewelry, textiles, and folk music and dance forms such as Gumer and Kalbalia, are integral parts of the city's cultural heritage. 9. Shopping Jaipur is a paradise for shoppers. The city is known for its exquisite jewelry, gemstones, textiles, handicrafts, and traditional Rajasthani artwork. Popular shopping areas include Yohari Bazaar, Bapu Bazaar, Tripolia Bazaar, and Nehru Bazaar. 10. Tourism Jaipur is a major tourist destination in India, attracting visitors from around the world. Its rich history, architectural marvels, cultural heritage, and warm hospitality make it a must-visit city in Rajasthan. Jaipur offers a captivating blend of history. Mumbai's Victorian city blocks built in the neo-Gothic and decorative style. Mumbai, the bustling metropolis on the western coast of India showcases a remarkable architectural legacy with its Victorian city blocks built in the neo-Gothic and decorative style. Here's some information about Mumbai's Victorian Kitirk. 1. Colonial Influence Mumbai, formerly known as Bombay, was under British colonial rule from the 18th to the mid-20th century. The Victorian architecture in Mumbai reflects the influence of British architectural styles during that period. 2. Neo-Gothic Style The Neo-Gothic architectural style gained popularity during the Victorian era, and Mumbai's Victorian buildings exhibit elements of this style, characterized by pointed arches, decorative tracery, and ornate detailing. These structures stand as impressive examples of Gothic Revival architecture. 3. Decorative Style Alongside the neo-Gothic style, Mumbai's Victorian buildings also incorporate decorative elements. These include intricate carvings, floral motifs, stained glass windows, and ornamental features that add a touch of grandeur and elegance to the structures. 4. Iconic Landmarks Mumbai boasts several iconic landmarks showcasing Victorian architecture. The Katrapati Shivaji Terminus, formerly Victoria Terminus, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is a prime example of neo-Gothic architecture with its grand facade, turrets, and spires. Other notable buildings include the Rajabai Clock Tower, David Sassoon Library, and the Bombay High Court. 5. Heritage Districts Mumbai has designated heritage districts that preserve and showcase its Victorian architecture. The Fort area, located in South Mumbai, is particularly renowned for its collection of Victorian buildings. Walking through these districts offers a glimpse into the city's colonial past and architectural splendor. 6. Cultural Significance Mumbai's Victorian architecture is not just admired. For its aesthetic appeal, but also holds cultural significance. These buildings serve as reminders of the city's historical evolution, symbolizing the amalgamation of Western architectural styles with Indian traditions. 7. Preservation and Restoration Efforts have been made to preserve and restore Mumbai's Victorian buildings to maintain their architectural integrity. Organizations, heritage trusts, and government bodies work towards conserving 
these structures and raising awareness about their historical value. Mumbai's Victorian city blocks, built in the neo-Gothic and decorative style, stand as a testament to the city's architectural heritage and its colonial past. They contribute to the city's unique character and offer a glimpse into a bygone era of grandeur and artistic craftsmanship. The Historic City of Ahmedabad Ahmedabad is a historic city located in the state of Gujarat, India. Here are some key pieces of information about Ahmedabad history. Ahmedabad was founded in the 15th century by Sultan Ahmed Shah and served as the capital of the Gujarat Sultanate. It has a rich history of trade and commerce, particularly during the Mughal era and the British colonial period. UNESCO World Heritage City In 2017, Ahmedabad was designated as India's first UNESCO World Heritage City. This recognition was due to its historic walled city area, known as the Old City, which has a remarkable concentration of historic buildings. Pol's traditional residential clusters and cultural sites. Architectural heritage, Ahmedabad is renowned for its architectural heritage. Blending various styles such as Indo-Islamic, Mughal, and colonial architecture. The city boasts iconic landmarks such as the Jama Masjid. Sidi Said Mosque famous for its intricate stone lattice work, Badra Fort, and Ahmad Shah's Mosque. Sabarmati Riverfront. The Sabarmati Riverfront is a prominent attraction in Ahmedabad. It is a beautifully developed waterfront area along the banks of the Sabarmati River, offering picturesque views, gardens, recreational spaces, and a riverfront promenade for leisure activities. Cultural Hub Ahmedabad is known for its vibrant cultural scene. The city hosts various festivals, including Navratri celebration of the Nine Nights, Uttarayan Kite Festival, and Diwali Festival of Lights. It is also home to renowned institutions like the National Institute of Design NID and the Calico Museum of Textiles, which showcases an extensive collection of Indian textiles and crafts. Economic Importance Ahmedabad is an important economic and industrial hub in Gujarat. It is known for its textile industry, particularly in the production of traditional handloom and textile goods. The city is also a center for diamond cutting and polishing, pharmaceuticals, and information technology. Vibrant food culture. Ahmedabad offers a diverse and delicious food culture. It is famous for its street food, including favorites like dakla, kanvi, fafta, and jalebi. The city also has a thriving vegetarian cuisine and is known for its traditional Gujarati thali, a platter of various vegetarian dishes. Educational institutions, Ahmedabad is home to prestigious educational institutions like the Indian Institute of Management, Ahmedabad IMA, the Gujarat University, and the Ahmedabad University. It has a reputation as an educational center attracting students from all over India. Le Corbusier, born as Charles Duard, Jeanneret Greece, was a Swiss. French architect and one of the most influential figures in the modern movement of architecture. His works made an outstanding contribution to the field and continue to inspire architects and designers to this day. Here are some of Le Corbusier's notable architectural work. 1. Villa Savoy Poissy, France, completed in 1931. Villa Savoy is one of Le Corbusier's most famous works. It is a prime example of his five points of architecture and represents his vision of modern living with an emphasis on functionality, open spaces, and a dynamic relationship between interior and exterior. 2. Unit de Habitation Marseille, France, constructed between 1947 and 1952. The unit de habitation is a residential housing complex that revolutionized the concept of urban living. It featured modular apartments, communal facilities, and a vertical garden, embodying Le Corbusier's principles of efficient and humane housing. 3. Notre Dame du Haut Ronchamp, France, built between 1950 and 1955. This iconic chapel is renowned for its sculptural form and dramatic use of light. 
It showcases Le Corbusier's innovative approach to sacred architecture, blending modernist design with spiritual elements. 4. Chandigarh, India Le Corbusier played a significant role in the planning and design of Chandigarh, the capital city of the Indian states of Punjab and Haryana. His urban planning principles and architectural designs shaped the city's layout, including the capital complex, the high court, and various government buildings. 5. Carpenter Center for the Visual Arts Cambridge, USA, completed in 1963. The Carpenter Center at Harvard University is Le Corbusier's only building in North America. It exemplifies his sculptural approach to architecture, with its distinctive form and use of concrete. 6. Ronchamp Cricket Club Ronchamp, France, designed in 1964. This sports complex showcases Le Corbusier's versatility and experimentation with new forms. Its curved roof and dynamic structure reflect his exploration of fluidity and movement in architecture. 7. Villa La Roche Paris, France, constructed in 1923. Villa La Roche is a prime example of Le Corbusier's early work and his concept of the machine for living. It demonstrates his use of reinforced concrete, open floor plans, and innovative spatial arrangements. Le Corbusier's architectural works reflect his belief in the functional and aesthetic potential of modern architecture. His designs emphasize the importance of efficient use of space, simplicity, and harmony between the built environment and human needs. His contributions to the modern movement have had a lasting impact on architectural theory and practice. Kankanjunga National Park is a protected area located in the Indian state of Sikkim. Here is some information about Kankanjunga National Park 1. Location Kankanjunga National Park is situated in the eastern Himalayas, spanning an area of approximately 1,784 square kilometers. It shares its border with Nepal to the west and Bhutan to the east. 2. Biodiversity Hotspot The national park is recognized as a biodiversity hotspot and is home to a wide range of flora and fauna. It encompasses diverse ecosystems, including alpine meadows, temperate forests, and glaciers. 3. Kankanjunga Peak The national park is named after Mount Kankanjunga, the third highest peak in the world. The mountain, standing at an elevation of 8,586 meters, is considered sacred by the local communities. 4. Wildlife Diversity Kankanjunga National Park is known for its rich wildlife diversity. It is habitat to several endangered and rare species, including the snow leopard, red panda, Himalayan black bear musk deer, and several species of birds. 5. Cultural Significance The park is situated in an area inhabited by indigenous communities, such as the Lepcha and Limbu tribes. These communities have a deep cultural connection with the natural environment and consider Kankanjunga as a sacred mountain. 6. Trekking and Adventure Kankanjunga National Park offers incredible opportunities for trekking and adventure activities. The park is known for the famous Kankanjunga Base Camp Trek, which takes trekkers through breathtaking landscapes and offers stunning views of the mountain. 7. Conservation Efforts the national park plays a crucial role in conserving the unique ecosystems and endangered species of the region. Conservation initiatives aim to protect the natural habitats, promote sustainable tourism, and involve local communities in conservation efforts. 8. UNESCO World Heritage Site In 2016, Kankanjunga National Park was inscribed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site for its outstanding natural and cultural values. Visiting Kankanjunga National Park provides an opportunity to experience the awe-inspiring beauty of the eastern Himalayas, encounter rare wildlife, and immerse oneself in the cultural heritage of the region. It is a destination of choice for nature lovers, adventure enthusiasts, and those seeking a deeper connection with the natural world. Restored Ruins in Nalanda District, Bihar The Nalanda District in Bihar, India, 
is home to several restored ruins that hold significant historical and cultural value. Here is some information about the restored ruins in Nalanda District. 1. Nalanda University Ruins The most prominent restored ruins in Nalanda District are those of the ancient Nalanda University. Established in the 5th century CE, Nalanda University was a renowned center of learning in ancient India and attracted scholars from all over the world. The ruins include the remains of monasteries, temples, lecture halls, and residential quarters. 2. UNESCO World Heritage Site The Nalanda University ruins were designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2016. The restoration efforts aim to preserve and showcase the architectural and educational heritage of the site. 3. Architectural Significance The Restored Ruins Exhibit architectural features that reflect the ancient Indian style of construction. Intricate stone carvings, pillars, and elaborate entrance gates can be observed, showcasing the exquisite craftsmanship of the time. 4. Buddhist Heritage Nalanda was a significant center for Buddhist learning, attracting scholars and monks from various Buddhist traditions. The restored ruins provide insights into the Buddhist influence and the religious practices that flourished in the region. 5. Mahavihara Complex The Nalanda University ruins are part of the larger Mahavihara Complex, which was a vast monastery and educational institution. The complex included multiple temples, libraries, meditation halls, and residential areas. 6. Archaeological Excavations The restoration of the Nalanda University ruins involved extensive archaeological excavations to uncover the original structures and artifacts. These excavations have provided valuable insights into the educational system, daily life, and cultural practices of the ancient university. 7. Cultural Tourism The restored ruins in Nalanda District have become a popular destination for cultural tourism. Visitors can explore the architectural marvels, learn about ancient history, and gain a deeper understanding of India's rich intellectual and cultural traditions. The restoration of the ruins in Nalanda District serves as a testament to the historical and educational significance of Nalanda University. It allows visitors to step back in time, immerse themselves in the ancient learning environment, and appreciate the architectural and cultural heritage of the region. The Greater Himalayan National Park Conservation Area Ganka is a protected area located in the state of Himachal Pradesh, India. Here are some key points about Thangkapka. 1. Location The Greater Himalayan National Park Conservation Area is situated in the Kalu region of the western Himalayas in Himachal Pradesh. It covers an area of approximately 905 square kilometers. 2. Biodiversity Hotspot Ganka is recognized as a biodiversity hotspot and is known for its rich and diverse flora and fauna. It encompasses a wide range of habitats, including alpine meadows, temperate forests, and glaciers. 3. Wildlife Diversity the conservation area is home to numerous species of mammals, including the elusive snow leopard, Himalayan black bear, musk deer, blue sheep, and Himalayan tar. It also supports a variety of bird species, such as the western tragopan, Himalayan manal, and bearded vulture. 4. Conservation Efforts Ganka was established in 1984 with the aim of conserving the unique ecosystems and biodiversity of the region. It was declared a national park in 1999 and later designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2014. 5. Trekking and Adventure The Ganka offers opportunities for trekking and adventure activities allowing visitors to explore the stunning landscapes, high-altitude lakes, and alpine meadows. Trekking trails like the Turthan Valley Trek and Sange Valley Trek provide opportunities to experience the natural beauty of the region. 6. Ecotourism The conservation area promotes sustainable and responsible tourism practices to minimize the impact on the environment. Visitors can engage in eco-friendly activities, learn about local communities, 
and experience the unique culture of the Himalayan region. 7. Research and Education The Ganga serves as an important site for scientific research and conservation studies. It also plays a crucial role in educating visitors and local communities about the significance of biodiversity conservation and sustainable development. The Greater Himalayan National Park Conservation Area offers a remarkable opportunity to experience the pristine beauty of the Himalayas, encounter rare wildlife, and contribute to the conservation efforts in the region. Rani Ki Vav, also known as the Queen Stepwell, is a stunning stepwell located in the town of Patan in the state of Gujarat, India. Here is some information about Rani Kivav. 1. Architectural Marvel Rani Kivav is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is renowned for its intricate and ornate architecture. It was built during the 11th century ad by Queen Udayamati in memory of her husband, King Bimdev I of the Solanki dynasty. 2. Stepwell Design Rani Ki Vav is a multi-storied stepwell that descends seven levels deep into the ground. It is adorned with beautiful sculptures, carvings, and intricate stoneworks depicting various mythological and religious themes. 3. Functional and Cultural Significance Stepwells, like Rani Ki Vav, were not only used as water storage structures but also served as social and cultural gathering places. They provided respite from the heat and served as venues for festivals, rituals, and community activities. 4. Architectural Features The stepwell features over a thousand intricately carved sculptures and panels portraying deities, celestial beings, mythological narratives, and scenes from Hindu epics like the Ramayana and Mahabharata. The walls are adorned with detailed carvings of gods, goddesses, musicians, dancers, and other intricate designs. 5. Water Conservation Rani Ki Vav was designed to store and manage water during the dry seasons. It features a series of steps that lead down to the water level, allowing people to access the water even when it was low. 6. Restoration and Recognition Rani Ki Vav underwent extensive restoration efforts to preserve its architectural splendor. In 2014, it was recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site for its exceptional value in terms of architecture, art, and water management. 7. Tourist Attraction Rani Ki Vav is a popular tourist attraction, drawing visitors from across the world who are fascinated by its intricate design, historical significance, and cultural importance. Exploring Rani Ki Vav offers a glimpse into the rich architectural heritage of Gujarat and the intricate craftsmanship of the Solanki period. It stands as a testament to India's artistic and engineering prowess and continues to captivate visitors with its grandeur and beauty.